Hello, Christ is in our midst. I'm Father Kevin Long of St. Elias, St. Elias Orthodox Church in Newcastle, Pennsylvania. Today is Friday, September 30th, 2022, and here are the readings for today. The first reading is from St. Paul's first letter to the Corinthians, chapter 16, verses 13 through 24. Brethren, be watchful, stand firm in your faith, be courageous, be strong. That all that you do be done in love. Now, brethren, you know that the household of Stephanas were the first converts in Achaia. And they have devoted themselves to the service of the saints. I urge you to be subject to such men and to every fellow worker and laborer. I rejoice at the coming of Stephanus and Fortunatos and Achaicos, because they have made up for your absence, for they have refreshed my spirit as well as yours. Give recognition to such men. Churches of Asia send greetings. Aquila and Prisca, together with the church in their house, send you hearty greetings in the Lord. All the brethren send greetings. Greet one another with a holy kiss. I, Paul, write this greeting with my own hand. If anyone has no love for the Lord, let him be accursed. O our Lord, come. The grace of the Lord be with you. My love be with you all in Christ Jesus. Amen. Today's Gospel is from the Gospel of St. Matthew, chapter 24, verses 42 through 47. The Lord said, Watch, for you do not know what day your Lord is coming, but know this. If the householder had known in what part of the night the thief was coming, he would have watched and would not have let his house be broken into. Therefore you also must be ready, for the Son of Man is coming at an hour you do not expect. Who then is the faithful and the wise servant whom his master has set over his household to give them their food in the proper time? Blessed is that servant whom his master, when he comes, will find so doing." Truly, I say to you, he will set him over all of his possessions. Glory to thee, our God. Glory to thee. So today in the Orthodox Church, we remember the Saint Gregory the Enlightener. He is the illuminator of the country of Armenia. And so he was a righteous leader and converted the people of Armenia from pagan beliefs into Christianity. It is believed that it happened around the year 314. He was born around 257, and his father was put to death for assassinating his kinsman, King Khosrov, while Gregory was still an infant to escape execution. Gregory was taken by his nurse to Caesarea in Cappadocia, where he was raised as a Christian. He was married and had two sons. One son, Orthanes, would later become a priest, and the other, Estrixes, became a monk, and later a bishop who attended the Council of Nicaea. Around 280, Gregory returned to Armenia and entered in the service of King Tiridates III, the son of the assassinated Khorsrav. However, Tiridates was intolerant of Christianity and demanded that Gregory would give up his Christian faith. And he continued to persecute many people in that area, in the area of Asia Minor. During this time, however, Tiridates developed a serious ailment and suffered disfiguration. And as a result, his heart began to soften because he was cured by Gregory's prayers. Once Tiradates was completely cured of his disease, he was released from prison and the torturing, and actually the leader urged people to reject pagan worship and to follow Christ himself. Eventually the king repented of his own crimes, and along with most of the people of Armenia, answered Gregory's call to be converts to Christianity. He was baptized by Gregory in 301. In that year, he adopted, the king did, Christianity as the religion of his entire country. And with the conversion of Armenia, temples to idols were destroyed and churches to God were built. And so we remember St. Gregory for his continual perseverance, his willingness to endure horrible tortures, and his conversion of Armenia from paganism into Christianity. 
And may God bless and keep you and those that you love today and always. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, one God. Amen. Thank you very much for joining me today. I pray you have a great day. And God willing, we'll see you tomorrow.